my channel. I hope that you are doing well. Today I'm trying out high-rise jeans from 10 different brands to see which brand has the best jeans for curves. So this is important because I've always struggled when it comes to finding the perfect pair of high-rise jeans. There would always be a gap at the waist, which I just find to be unflattering and uncomfortable. Last year, I decided to invest in a few pairs of Levi's jeans, and that was the first time in life that I actually had some jeans that I felt really comfortable in and jeans that actually fit me great. So I wanted to see what else is out there. So I picked out 10 different pairs of pants like I mentioned and let's just see which brands come out on top so I want to focus on things such as the high rise comfort as well as the gap in the back so let's just go from least expensive to most expensive and then I'll circle back at the end and let you guys know which ones are my favorites so yeah let's just get right into it so we're starting off with something a little bit different and that is a light pair of jeans and I picked these out from Urban Outfitters and these these are the BDG high-waisted cowboy jeans and they are in the color ivory. And before we even get into it, it might be helpful for you guys to know my, I guess, stats. So I'm about 5 foot 7, I would say, and I wear a size 6 in jeans, which ends up being a 28 for the most part or sometimes a 27. But I will say though that in 2021, I put on some pounds. They are quite tight if i'm being honest the pants still fit so i was just like it's fine let me just film this so just wanted to put that out there so yes i picked these up in a size 28 and they retailed for 49 dollars so in my opinion these pants are an actual dream i've never owned white jeans before and i never even really desired to own a pair of white jeans but i decided to pick these up and i will say i just feel like they are chef's kiss <laughs> i think the first thing is that they were really flattering for your shape they are quite tight and really slim and they honestly don't have much give at all and it makes sense because these pants are a hundred percent cotton the more percentage of cotton a pant is it's going to be a little bit more on the stiff side so for comfort i would say that they are a 7.5 maybe 8 but surprisingly enough even though they are 100 percent cotton and i don't know if it's the color of the the dye or the wash or the white jeans but they're not as uncomfortable as i would have assumed that they would be i would give the gap in the back about an eight there is definitely a gap in the back but it's not extreme and you don't feel it because the pants are already pretty tight so it's not a gap where i'm also having to pull up the pants to make them you know fit better so next up at 49.95 i have this pair that i picked up from american eagle these are the Stretch Mom straight jean, and I picked these up in a size 6. So these are a nice pair of straight jeans. I find that they're not too tight and they're not too baggy. They are straight, but they're not giving you a super skinny jean look. And these are only 80% cotton, so they're not, you know, like the previous pair of jeans, a very firm jean. There is some stretch to it, and... Personally, that's actually not my favorite when it comes to jeans because I do like when there is that higher cotton percentage because I feel like it just gives it a more like vintage feel and that's just kind of my preference when it comes to jeans. My only concern with these is if they are going to stretch out over time and become a little bit more loose and baggy. But with that stretchiness, it is one of the more comfortable jeans. So for comfort, I would definitely give this like a 9 out of 10. And overall, for any curvy girl, I think that this is just great. I think that it's that perfect balance of being fitted and showing your shape, but then also being comfortable at the same time. And for the waist gap, I would give that a 9.5 out of 10. The pants aren't fully snatching my waist or anything, but there is no gap, so that is a plus. And for the rise, I would give that about an 8 out of 10. I think that it's pretty high rise, but again, since it doesn't, you know, snatch, I think we can just stick with like an 8 out of 10. So next up, we have another light wash pair of jeans, and these ones are from PacSun. They are the Eco Light Blue High Waisted Boot Cut Jeans, and I picked these up in the color medium indigo so right off the bat i have to say that these are so different for me i have never owned a pair of boot cut jeans and honestly i didn't think that they would look nice on me i didn't know if they would be flattering for my shape but oh my gosh you guys when i put these on 
I love them. Like, I really love these. I think that they are so, so flattering. I feel like they're so slimming and they really just kind of snatch and cinch you up, which, hey, that's a plus. And the waist gap is pretty much nowhere to be found. So I would give the waist gap a 10 out of 10. I think they did a really great job with that. My only concern with these jeans is the quality. When I was putting on these pants, this little belt buckle actually ripped a little bit so you just have to be careful with that and i would recommend not using the belt buckle to pull up the pants and just kind of pulling it up by the waist to avoid any potential damages and also since they do have a hole in the knee another time when i was putting them on you know my knee got snagged and then i heard a little rip too and i was just like <sighs> i'm not trying to have these pants fall apart because i really do love the way that they look so yeah, that was just my only little one concern. I picked these up in a size 28, but these fit quite tight. These were tight. And again, granted, like I told you guys, I have put on some weight, but whew, even with that, these, these pants was tight. So I don't think that sizing up would hurt, you know, just for a little bit more of a comfortable feel. But when it comes to comfort, I would definitely give these like a 6 out of 10. They're not the most comfortable. You know, they're fine when you're standing up and walking around, but when it comes time to sit down, yeah, I I don't know about that. <laughs> if you're going somewhere and you're just kind of sitting down like normal, great. But if you're potentially somewhere where you might have to sit on the floor, yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting these on because you might not get back up. But to give more context, these pants are 100% cotton. So now we're jumping up a little bit in price. And the next pair of pants are these from Everlane. These are the Way Hygiene in the color Vintage Indigo. And these pants retail for $88. So these jeans are so super super snug they also have that vintage feel to them which i do like in jeans and i picked these up in a size 27 because they didn't have my typical size 28 but they still fit okay they just are quite snug and these pants are on the higher percentage when it comes to cotton at 98 percent so again they are going to be a little bit more of a stiff vintage feel jean when it comes to comfort i would give these pants about an eight they're not horrible but i really do wish that i had these in my perfect size of 28 because i wonder if they would feel a little bit more comfortable if they were in a size 28 so it's kind of hard to judge but Overall, the comfort is just okay. Not one of the ones that you'd want to, you know, sit crisscross applesauce on the floor. One thing that I really do love with these jeans is that the rise is super high. I would give the rise a 9.5 out of 10. I think they did a great job. And when it comes to the gap at the back, it's just not, you know, extremely noticeable. I would give it about an 8. And I think overall, these pants are, you know, a nice and simple pair of jeans. To be honest, for me, there's nothing too much to write home about. They didn't, you know, wow me or anything. As far as how they accentuate the shape, I think that it's okay. You know, everything is just okay. It's not one of the pairs of jeans that I kind of like gasped when I put them on. It was just like, okay, these are nice. I, I would definitely wear these. Okay, you guys, when I saw that Abercrombie had a designated curve love section with their denim, I was intrigued, you know? So I picked up their 90s ultra high rise straight jean from the curve love section and I got these in the color medium wash and in size 28 okay so i will say when i first put these pants on the first thing i noticed is that they went on really really well and they just fit so comfortable i was just like wow these are fitting like a glove right now they felt great to button i felt like the legs were just too long and i wanted to love these pants so badly because they hit the mark on everything they were killing the mark on everything but then i decided to actually fold the legs up a little bit and then i was like wow okay i love these now i really love them but i realized that i had to get the legs shorter when i rolled them up they looked so much better in my opinion so i would just keep that in mind because on the website they gave you an option to have short regular or long and i didn't really take into consideration that the model was wearing a regular and that the jeans were you know way past her ankle 
so if i was to order again i would just have ordered short but now it's kind of too late to send these back in so i'm just gonna have them tailored to be a little bit shorter these pants definitely feel structured but also have a slight bit of give honestly though they really killed it when it comes to the high rise and the gap like they did they were doing something when you kind of inspect these jeans closely you can see that they did something to make the waist just a little bit smaller like i can see the waist coming in slightly so it feels like they just had a pair of jeans and then they kind of took in the waist i would say a plus for creativity a plus for really you know trying to cater to the curvy girls out here so i would say 10 out of 10 for the high rise and a 9.5 out of 10 for comfort Honestly, maybe even a 10 out of 10 for comfort. Can you believe that? And I was very shocked by the comfort because these pants are 99% cotton. These pants are structured, yet there's a little bit of give, even with such a high cotton percentage. I'm very curious what their whole process was. I just don't know. I just don't know why they're so comfortable. These are a pair of jeans that I was able to sit down on the couch and have the whole crisscross applesauce without any discomfort and even the gap at the back they did a really great job like there's again no gap to be found that too was 10 out of 10 so yeah overall these pants are amazing i honestly give abercrombie some big props so next up we have a pair of pants from levi's and these are the ribcage straight jeans in the color tango and off the bat i have to say that these pants are just my babies <laughs> these were like the first pair of good fitting jeans that i got the first pair of jeans that were really making me feel confident and these are just your classic pair of vintage style jeans in that you know classic light wash color and i picked these pants up in the size 27 waist and 27 length and they didn't have it in my size originally so i had to size down but it still worked out for me and before putting on a couple pounds these fit like so great they felt so great that i actually thought that the 28 would probably have been a bit too big if i got that instead so i do think that this wash just runs large because i have a few other pair of pants in the ribcage style and for those jeans the size 28 feels like this 27 but i love the rise of these pants i would give them a 10 out of 10 because they are so high and on top of that they also really just kind of snatch and cinch in the waist which is amazing and another thing that i love about these is i just think that they are really flattering even though they are a straight leg pair of pants they don't take away from your shape in fact i think that they actually really accentuate the shape but as far as comfort these really don't have a lot of stretch so i would give them about a seven especially when it comes to sitting down and again for context these are 99 percent cotton when it comes to the waist gap i would give that a 10 out of 10 because the rise, the cinching, everything is just perfect. And these pants retail for $98. I actually got these on sale. And real quick, a lot of these pants are actually on sale. So, you know, gotta love a little discount. Okay, so for this next pair of pants, I almost didn't include it in this because they just... You know it, it just didn't work out but i figured that i might as well share it so i picked up these pair of pants from reformation and these are the cynthia high rise straight jean in size 28 and i got these because i thought that these looked so great on the model and i was hoping that i would get it and it would look like that on me too but that wasn't the case yeah so i could hardly hardly get these over my body i could hardly get these over my hips they did not go over the bum they just did not fit i was a little bit frustrated by that because these were actually one of the ones that i was looking forward to and as i was putting these on i felt like i would have to size up like two to three sizes to actually be able to fit into these jeans i don't think it's great to have to size up that much to get a pair of pants that actually fits so yeah i was really disappointed in this one specifically because i picked them up for 128 dollars so i'm sure these pants aren't bad but i can't really judge them but i will say that i don't really think that these are curve friendly 
if I couldn't fit into my size and would have to probably size up a few sizes to fit into my size. But I'm not going to cross off Reformation forever, so maybe down the line in the future I'll give them another go. Also, for $128, I picked up a pair of pants from Madewell, and I saw on their website that they had a pair of jeans called the Perfect Vintage Jeans. So, as you can imagine, I had, you know, pretty high expectations and wanted to pick one out to try. So the first thing that I noticed when I put them on is that they were definitely a bit more fitted and then they just had a little bit more of a tapered straight leg. So I think right off the bat, I definitely felt confident in these jeans. I like the way that they fit. However, the rise didn't feel very high to me. These said that they are a high rise, but they honestly felt a little bit more of a mid slash high rise to me. And I like my pants, you know, super high. So that was just something that I noticed off bat. And also when it came to the gap, that wasn't great either. There definitely was quite a bit of a gap. It definitely could be a lot better. So I would give the gap about a seven out of 10. And then when it comes to comfort, because of the gap in the back and the fact that it was more of a mid-rise feel. I felt like these were pants that I would have to keep on pulling up, but these pants were also a 99% cotton, 1% elastane, and there is just that slight stretch to them. So honestly, for the price, I would have expected for these jeans to fit a whole lot better and to have less of a gap in the back. Sadly, I don't know if I would agree that they are the perfect vintage jean. And again, don't get me wrong, like I said, I felt very confident in these. I felt like they really snatched up the legs, but I just think that some slight improvements would take these jeans from being, you know, good to being amazing. Because the fact of the matter is if anyone is paying $128, we want like the perfect fitting pair of jeans. And that would be something to justify paying so much because you know that you have a killer pair. So when it comes to jeans for curvy girls, I feel like the brand Good American was really making some waves for these last couple of years. And I would always see Good American pop up when I would look for jeans for curves. So I knew that I wanted to try out this brand and I picked up this Good Waist Clean Hem in the color Blue 387. So these jeans have a super skinny fit with a high rise. And it's funny because I'm not much of a skinny jean girl typically. So when I picked these up, I didn't actually think that I would keep them. I just wanted to try them out. But honestly, when I put them on, immediately I was like, I don't care. I'm keeping these. These feel great. These fit great. And these just make me feel confident. So even though I'm not a typical skinny jean girl, I was sold. So these jeans are 94% cotton and 6% elastane. I like that they have enough cotton that they are pretty structured, but then enough elastane that the jeans are comfortable and you're not feeling constricted. So I think that they did a really great job with that. So overall, I think that these jeans are super comfortable and super flattering. And I picked this up in my regular size 6. So for comfort, I would give them a 9.5 out of 10. I think these are one of the more comfortable jeans. When it comes to the rise, I do think that the rise is good. But I actually do think that they could be a little bit higher to just even accentuate the waist a little bit better. So to me, it kind of feels more like a mid slash high rise. So I would give the rise about an 8.5. Then going along with that, for the gap in the back, I think that they did a great job with that. And I would give the gap a 9 out of 10. I love that the gap isn't visible and obvious. But I do think that the waist gap could be, you know, slightly tighter. And I don't know if it's because I've just worn these quite a few times and haven't washed them yet and maybe it's a little bit more loose at the waist, but I do think that the waist could be a little bit, a little bit more tight. But overall, I think that these are a great pair of skinny jeans. Like I, I really do love these pants. So A Goldie is a brand that I had heard of for such a long time and had wanted to try for a while, but to be honest, their prices were kind of putting me off because they are on the higher end of jeans. I decided to try a pair of jeans from them and I picked up these pair of black pants. And these are the pinch waist high rise kick flare jeans in the color panoramic. 
and these are the most expensive jeans that we have here retailing at 178 dollars so yeah if you're shopping from a goldie it's definitely a bit of an investment i was on the hunt for a pair of black high-rise jeans and these really did hit the mark for me the thing i loved about these jeans is that they have structure to them but then there also is a lot of give and i wasn't able to see what materials that they use but I don't know these are definitely so comfortable these are definitely one of the most comfortable jeans i would give these a 9.5 out of 10 when it comes to comfort and i picked these up in size 28 so they are my regular size i also feel like the rise is great i would also give that a 9.5 out of 10 these are really high rise so i feel like they do a good amount of cinching of the waist even though they are a straight leg it's not taking away from your shape at all. And then I also think that they did a great job with the waist gap in the back. I would give that a 10 out of 10. There's honestly no waist gap to be found. So overall, I do think that these jeans are amazing and I think that they are actually perfect for a curvy girl because they don't take away your shape and they're also extremely comfortable. So yeah, there's this one. That is the last pair of jeans. So to answer which of the brands have the best jeans for curves, Abercrombie impressed me the most. So I would definitely say that Abercrombie is probably one of the best bets if you want to be safe and get something that's comfortable. So I would definitely recommend those. And then I also was really impressed with Levi's, Good American, and A Goldie and also actually American Eagle. So I would love to know what you guys think, which pair of jeans were your favorite. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.